Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ray's Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2, where we continue with the voyages of the SNS, the Space Nuclear System, as it examines the situation as we go from one SOI to another in the Kerbal System. This is prior to the second patch for KSB2, and hopefully some of the issues that I've encountered with going between SOIs and plotting, in particular plotting maneuvers to go from one SOI to another, have been corrected but uh, in the new patch but they are definitely not corrected in this patch and this vessel also seems to cause a lot of lag as it saves the game so whenever it does a quick save as it's doing right now the game is effectively paused for a little bit and i don't know why it's not actually that many parts now it was a lot of parts when we had the boosters on but i've had parts i've had vessels with this many parts before but Something definitely causes extra lag here right now. But anyway, we will proceed with it. And we're just getting ready for the mid-course adjustment to get to Drez. And then we'll proceed to other planets. But it is paused right now as it quick saves. Maybe there's an uh, issue with the saves. I'll double check. I know that sometimes the saves can have weird issues. Okay, here we go. Go! Uh, well, yeah, the autosaves seem to be really huge. They definitely have a problem. Uh, 775 megabytes. I'm not planning to do much with this save. We're just going from planet to planet, but I would prefer it not to have a 775 megabyte save. <laughs> no wonder is it's taking so long to save it. Well, that apparently has not been fixed with this patch either. Prior to this, the saves in this save. Uh, the the, the pre prior times I had saved uh, this game had been about three megabytes, one one to three megabytes. Uh, but now somehow with the SNS it's 775 megabytes. I don't know why. Maybe I should just get... Uh, let me set persistent debris to zero. Just in case that helps. Okay well let's plot a maneuver. I don't think we got what we wanted exactly. Okay, let me do this readjustment. I think I can do it more immediately. Well, let's just do it as plotted. I'm actually going to get rid of the maneuver and just see what happens. Okay, it just did another auto save, and it doesn't look like cleaning the debris helped. It's still 770 something megabytes, so yeah. Well, anyway, again, I'm not using this save for anything else, so it'll be all right. Something in all the issues when we tried to launch this apparently caused a problem. Oop, I think I did too much there. If I had made these tanks drop tanks, we'd have more Delta V. Not that, I mean, we shouldn't be pressed for Delta V, but I'm worried about Moho once we do that part. Everything else should be relatively easy. But Moho, especially if we decide to get or into orbit around it, will be hard. That There is still the iffiness of trying to plot a course between the planets, and we'll see whether it gives me honest answers for those plots or not. Oh, I did not mean to control. No. What did I just control? Oh, I am not controlling me. That was weird. I ended up controlling the Voyager spacecraft, but it showed the resources for this. Oh, oh, oh. I'll just take that. That's fine. Okay, let's go over to Drez. Okay, we are in Drez SOI. And it's making one of those huge saves. <laughs> Well, capturing a loose capture is only a thousand, it says. That's not too bad. I've certainly had worse. I don't know if we should go for a loose capture. Well, it depends on where we go next. Let's see. Um, I want to know the angle between Drez and Jewel. It looks pretty good right there. But I forget some of the interplanetary angles. Normally, Jewel can help us out with that sort of thing. And it's supposed to be 52 degrees. 
That's less than 52 degrees, but I think it's possible to go to Jewel like this. So, it should be okay. Anyway, let's capture first, and then we'll plan. Trez and its ring. A blatant attempt to make it more interesting. Shameless, really. I'm gonna start now. Okay, that's good enough orbit for me. So, 195 by 160. Well, music suddenly changed when I got rid of the maneuver, but yes, there we are. But we're not hanging around Drez. There's not much to do around here. Uh, let us target Jewel and see if we can get there. It's really less than the angle that I'd like. Okay, so we're going out that way. So that makes sense. We should go into a higher orbit like that. Yes, but... The going into higher orbits is what has worked pretty well. But unfortunately we're going to have to make another inclination change to deal with Jewel. I'm really forcing it on the timing. That's not great. I don't even know how much the mid-course adjustment is. Probably more than I want it to be. There's Tylo. Tylo should be trying to capture us right now. Or is that... is that Tylo? I think maybe that's Tylo. Okay, well, Tylo is doing something. Well, it's not doing what we want it to do, but we can adjust that when we get there. Okay, so we've got this initial burn. Drez can't fool me, it's not that interesting, even with the ring. Okay, and go. And a little bit of flex of the arms. That's how it looks. You know, I noticed it, it doesn't have the bar going down at all. <laughs> well... Our resulting orbit is looking alright. I think we'll cut it there. Yeah. Alright. We'll plot the mid-course adjustment. It's a shame that when you get rid of that maneuver, it gets rid of the mid-course adjustment as well. And it's not showing me my ascending and descending node anymore. The, these lines don't make any sense. Wonderful. Well, maybe it'll be fixed when we get out into interplanetary SOI. So, we are departing. Oh, this is a distant memory. Okay, well, at least it shows us our ascending node out here. All right. That is costly inclination change again. We don't want to go clockwise, we want to go counterclockwise. We are not apparently enticing Tylo at all. Oh, I, I think Tylo, there we go, I think Tylo's doing it. Okay, well that'll save us a little bit if it works out for us. Periapsis around Tylo just 5,888, so it's barely doing anything, but... Uh, yep, alright, so we'll do this correction. Well, it's showing the bar go down this time. Let's get the lit side here. And we'll keep going for a little bit. Because I was late starting, but let's see what's going on. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting Talo interested in me on this one. Yeah, okay. Uh, by the way, I don't know which one of these... What One is the entry and one is the exit. But I don't know if the one that's apparently sort of going in, you know, is the one that's the entry and this is the exit. I, I mean, in which case we're going the wrong way around. Or whether it's the other way around. I have no idea. If I could make a maneuver node on it, I'd be able to tell because then, of course, the one that is coming in would be the one that has lower time and the one that's going out would be the higher time, but I can't actually make a maneuver node on this orbit for some reason. So yeah, I have no idea which one is the in and out. Maybe they should color them differently or something. I understand they've, they've, they've done a different pattern. One is sort of 
scrunching in and one is expanding outward. I assume that this is the in and out then. Right? <laughs> um, if, that is the in, if that's the right interpretation, then maybe I should burn a little bit more and go... Oh, wait, no. Let's see. We'll need to be on the other side then. But maybe that's the wrong interpretation, in which case this is a bad idea. So does that mean in and that's out? I guess. If that's the case, then we're going the right way around. Let's see. Let's see. Nope, it was the other way around. Gosh darn it. See, if, if it's looking like it's scrunching in, that should be the in one. But no, they have it the other way around. Okay, their tile is capturing us, but it's a little bit too inclined. I'd like uh, orbit that would be tangent to leaves at one end. Yep, nope. uh, there we go. Well, that's a Val encounter, shoot. No, that's premature. Uh, I think I see a Leif encounter there. Okay, there's a Leif encounter. We're not gonna get into orbit around all the moons, we just gotta fly by them. So there, uh, Tylo is capturing us into dual orbit, and it's a safe periapsis in theory, and then we hit Leif like that. Okay, let's do this correction. Uh, I've plotted it in seven days, we'll just go with it as plotted, even though it'd be more efficient if I do it immediately. Whoa, 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 it's doing that thing where it's doing bad things that it shouldn't be doing. Uh, yes, we flipped our orbit around game, but that doesn't mean the maneuver location has changed. Oh, gosh. Well, that probably kills the Tylo encounter. And the Leith encounter. No, no, it's not like that game. See, the, the whole maneuver node system is just whacked. <laughs> it doesn't understand... It doesn't understand the change of coordinates. When you do this particular kind of burn. I previously said don't let it follow the maneuver node when doing an inclination burn. This wasn't an inclination burn, this was a radial burn, but... Also, don't let it follow the maneuver node when doing a radial burn, that will result in you flipping your orbit, which of course means a 180 degree inclination change, because it will also screw that up. No, we're certainly not getting any fortunate Tylo encounter now. Alright, I guess I'll use Lathe. Uh, Alright, fine, Lathe. We'll do Lathe first. Lathe will capture us into orbit. Okay, that looks better. Not perfect, but we've got very powerful engines. Oop. Yeah, I think we should just take that now. Alright, pretty close to Lathe, not too far away. Let's go over there. My vessel is out of communication range. Well, I guess that's why we have Val Valentina on board. Okay, where's, where's Jewel? There's Jewel. And there's Lathe. Should be getting close to Leith right now. Okay, there's Leith. Periapsis is safe. And we're just passing by. Alrighty. And that will get us into orbit around Jewel. Okay, I have plotted a series of three maneuvers that will get us a Val encounter and then also hopefully a Tylo encounter, which is what you see here. You can see the pass at Tylo far more clearly than you can see the pass at Val. But we have uh, initial burn to bring down our orbit a little bit because it's a little bit high. And then an inclination change because we're three degrees off from Val. And then this a burn to uh, bring our periapsis closer to Val's orbit so that we can make the pass. There's the pass at Val, and a periapsis of 108 kilometers, and then uh, we pass by Tylo there. And, but unfortunately it seems like, well maybe it's just not showing what's going to happen after Tylo, or we could get ejected out of the dual system, I'm not sure. Tylo could, uh, could be very powerful when it comes to that sort of thing. So we're going to do this combination of burns and see how it goes.
They shouldn't be too costly, but I can only see the first one. Once again, I can't actually see how much the other ones cost, I think. Um, wish if I could just hover over them. Certainly clicking them doesn't give me anything. So, it's a little bit of suspense as far as how much these two flybys are going to be. But then after that we have Bop and Paul, which are more interesting to get to. And then we can head out to somewhere else. Elu is just right there, isn't it? Well, I mean, inclination-wise, it's not quite right there, but it's really close by, which is not exactly how you do transfers, but it's a thought. Uh, I guess there's a way to do that. I'll think about that. We'll get through all the moons first, though. Obviously, Elu would be the logical one to go to next. It's certainly not a Homan gap away, but... Maybe we can sort of transfer to it in a different format. And go. I'll just have it hold there. It's not ticking down. Gosh. Maybe when we have another burn plotted, it gets confused by that. So it doesn't keep track. I think that's as close as I need it. Let's try that. And then it gets rid of all of them. <laughs> well, I'll just plot this one first. 230 though, is more than I wanted. We're doing an inclination change fairly close, but the opposite node is also really close to Jules, so it's not great either way. There are ways to avoid that, but I want to keep it simple, especially since we seem to get a Tylo encounter. Well, it is keeping track of this one because, maybe because I don't have another burn after it. Okay, and then the third burn. So this will raise our orbit so that we can phase with Val, but I don't know if we're going to get the Tylo bonus. I'm not even going to plot this, we'll just see when we get an encounter. Uh, okay, I think maybe I need to retrograde here. Just because I had an past Apoapsis, it decided not to show me the encounter, which is, again, not helpful. Okay, where can we get the Tylo bonus? Oh, Tylo bonus. Alright, so we've set up our pass of Val at 490 kilometers and Tylo at 950. If I try and burn any more, the engine is so big it's probably not going to be very accurate anyway. So, we'll take what we've got there. Okay, there is Val. Let's get a closer look. Not that close, though, admittedly. At least we'll be pointing our cupola at it. Okay, and with Jewel in the background. But our closest approach happens to be right when it gets to be nighttime on the surface. And up we go again, straight on to Tylo. There we have a closer approach, it looks like. Okay, and Tylo interface. We appear to be safe for this pass. Interesting scars on Tylo. Why did I even say canals? Oh, that was weird. It's like... It's like, uh, space bodies just sort of gl uh, did glancing blows on Tylo. I don't know how you get some of this stuff, though. Interesting splotches on this side. Like something hurled paintballs at it. But those paintball splotches glow in the dark, apparently. That's very glowy. That uh, Tylo is irradiated, I think. Or maybe, is Jewel on the opposite side? Yeah, Jewel was on our side, so... I don't know, maybe it was a reflection of Jewel. Maybe it was Jewel being reflected on Tylo's surface, I'm not sure. 
Okay, I was trying to plot an intercept of Paul, but somehow I've got a re-intercept of Tylo again. Great. Uh, see, I was trying for that 2A and 2B right there. I'm trying to keep the inclination because it's more minimal to Paul. And I just want Bop... We just want a greasing blow of Bop. <laughs> but then Tylo happens. I think we'll just adjust... I don't know when we're supposed to get that encounter with Bop. I'm thinking it's just the next orbit and that Tylo won't do anything to us, but we'll see. Let's do this correction first. Okay... And go. Prospective bop burn. And that's Tylo getting in the way, but we're still focused on bop there, please. Okay. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to do something about not crashing into Tylo afterwards, but... 10 kilometers. But that's in 137 days. That's not what we want. Was the apparent bop encounter in 137 days? No. Okay, that should be close enough for a bop encounter, surely. This is how we look right now. Way up above Jewel. Okay, we have an encounter, we have a periapsis, and no Tylo thing. But it is boosting our orbit quite a lot considering it's bop. But we'll be relatively plainer to Paul afterwards. So that's good. We can go right to Paul. Okay, passing by Bop here. Okay, there's Bop the Rock. Oh, are we not getting any closer? I thought... I don't know what the numbers mean anymore. <laughs> I give up. Oh well, we didn't get much of a look at Bop. But we flew by it, we went through the SOI and everything. It's legal. Okay, now trying to get all dealt with. Right now it says distance from planet 41 kilometers. There's no way that's not an encounter, right? <laughs> Why aren't you telling me it's an encounter then? But that's in 124 days. But then how long is our orbit anyway? Oh, maybe I was reading this wrong. Maybe it was... The orbit around Jewel and... No, this is what I... Did I mix up six, uh, the... Oh, wait. We... Oh, it did the thing. It did the thing. That's why I'm so confused. It did the thing where uh, we thought we were going to get a higher orbit, but instead it tossed us into a lower orbit. Yeah, and we ended up with a Tylo encounter that we weren't supposed to get. See, I plotted this maneuver on the higher orbit that it said we were going to get, but instead, Bop pushed us into a lower orbit, and so it lied in Bop SOI. So, Bop, Bop is a lying SOI. It's one of the lying SOIs, like Minmus. I don't know if it's consistent like that. I don't know if it's every time we go through the SOI, it's going to mess us up, but it seems like... Bop SOI might be a lying SOI. So, we uh, we need to fix this. Should we use Tylo or should we not use Tylo? Is I d I don't I think this is permanently messed up now. It's one of those situations because I just made a maneuver of zero and it's showing me going like that, but it, I'm not going like that. Maybe let's see, create a maneuver. Okay, well, but, but right now if we're out of time warp, it's okay. It's telling me what appears to be the truth. I think this correction doesn't result us doing anything horrible with Tylo, but it's prograde burn and it's showing the logical results of a prograde burn, so that's a positive to start off. So let's work with that. It's sort of it's not doing what I want it to do. This is the prograde. This prograde. Oh, no, but we're dealing with uh, Tylo. Okay, maybe it's because Tylo is messing up our orbit. I'll continue. Um, I'm going like I'm pointing prograde. It's not supposed to be bringing us closer to Jewel, but then Tylo's in the way, so it's complicated. I think we're gonna break our encounter with Tylo anyway. So, hopefully. Okay. Looks like what we were trying to get most mostly got. 
some periapses, but they look pretty high, uh, 8,000 kilometers above Tylo. But it's not showing me my Paul encounter, but I guess we have to pass by Tylo. Okay, there we have the 2A and 2B again. Okay, we've got an encounter for Paul. You know, uh, the days for the time to apoapsis and periapsis might be useful too. They got the days in the burn timer. But not over there. Okay, go. Well, we'll actually throw all down a bit. Looks like 600,000 minimum, but it says entering SOI, so we should be going into it. Very, very, very briefly. <laughs> Super quick encounter with Paul. Really far away, unfortunately. 626 kilometers. But there it is. Really interesting colors. But yeah, that's as close as we're getting. At least the apoapsis and periapsis made sense this time, so perhaps this is actually the orbit we're getting tossed into. Seems like it. Yeah. Maybe when the apoapsis and periapsis down there are wrong, you're going to end up in the bad orbit. Alright, so we've done all the jewel things. Let's see if we can get over to Elu.